Hi, my name is Savvy Ellis. Josh Stewart. My name is Emily Hilton. Sasha Browniola. I have studied exercise science. Hi, my name is Abigail Madden. I'm a senior this year at Crown. Hey, everybody. My name is Josh Chisholm. I'm graduating in a couple weeks here. I'm Austin, and I'm graduating with degrees in film and video production, interpersonal communication, and Christian studies. I'm Shauna. I'm Theory. And we are seniors. One of the things that I liked best about Crown during my four years here is honestly the relationship that you are able to build with people. Um, I can honestly say that I've been able to find a family and all of those people know who you are and they, um, they'll just always be in my life and I'm super thankful for that. I always felt like I was a part of something bigger than myself, whether that was through sporting events or um, film festivals or really anything, classes even is just being able to meet new people and just be friends with them and grow relationships with them and just being that major part in Crown's community. Just being able to have genuine and true and fun relationships with the people that, you know, we get to see each and every day because it is such a small and um, intimate school. Just the people I've gotten to know um, and the relationships that I've uh, built and then uh, just some fun stuff that I've been able to do is uh, play football and uh, be part of that brotherhood that we have on campus. How impactful everyone at Crown is. Everyone talks about Crown community and Crown community is definitely a thing. Um, just the experiences with other people on campus in the classroom with the conversation or just through relationships that I've built um, during my two years here. I think Coach Leah and uh, Coach Ashlyn have been huge impacts to our life. Um, just seeing uh, women who were once in our shoes like grow up and to be uh, the great people that they are I think is super uh, inspirational. Dr. Kelly Cordy has really been a just a huge impact for me in my time here. I really don't know if there's any specific memory or um, just anything that really specifically stands out as much as just um, her willingness to go above and beyond what was necessary to equip me and other students for uh, the future and to just um, really helped me see what I was capable of. Alina Nicholson and Janetta Mendel, they have been really great. And I've known them since freshman year, so all four years. So it's been fun. And also professors such as Dr. G, Dr. Peterson, Dr. Erickson. Um, Scotty Motes, she has just done so much for me personally and um, she's allowed her room to be a safe place for times where I've been frustrated. I can go to her and just cry or laugh or um, listen to music, just hang out in there, take naps, whatever it is. It's Tyrell, um, he helped me through a lot of things. Um, he kind of encouraged me, was a mentor to me um, during well, was, even over the summers, both him and Tyre, uh, Carissa really helped, uh, kind of, kind of acted as a family for me. As um, I got trapped stateside during COVID, and I've yet to go home, they kind of just acted as kind of secondary parents in a way. Um, and all the roommates that I've had in the past, from Tyler Lewis, my freshman roommate, to all my senior roommates, from Luke Wright to Josh Deerett, Jonathan Nelson, Nicholas Oberstein and all the ones in between. Um, some relationships that have impacted me the most are definitely my two best friends, uh, Corey and Josh, that I met on uh, my freshman year. And then relationships with my coach for two years, Coach Hour, just what a mentor he's been in my life. Ollie Hansen and Kaylee Hubert, when we would spend late night study sessions up in Second Strom. Taylor Krieger, when we would go to Quick Trip late at night just to get more cheese. Sydney Mansky, just for being able to understand some of the internal pain of being in some classes. Knowledge more because we were quarantined a couple of times because we were exposed to a COVID positive individual. Crystal Jung, Bao Tao, Margaret, and Ashley Jarvey. My SRA team, um, so Morgan, Maya, Bao, Titus, and Joel. I think if there's one thing I could say to Dr. Cordy right now would probably just be to thank her for believing in me uh, even when I didn't and I couldn't believe in myself that really that really meant a lot. Um, you've been a huge blessing and I hope you continue to be a bless I know you'll be, continue to be a blessing to uh, 
those you minister to, whether it be here at Crown or elsewhere. Thank you for being my friend for these past four years and being my best friend and walking through life and being there in my ups and downs and the lowest parts of me and the tough parts and never leaving and always being encouraging even when it might be hard to encourage me. Thank you for being such a blessing in my life and uh, hopefully I had the same impact on yours. I'm just so incredibly thankful to have such great Christian leaders in my life. Um, from Martha Swift, thank you for always helping me be creative and pushing me to get the help that I need, all the mentorships that you, you've tried to align me. Um, and just being able to be a person that I can come to when I need help. Thank you yeah. for giving us the opportunities to be on both of your teams. I yeah, both came in fresh, fresh and butter um, out the back. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and y'all just let us slip and slide. It was, it was a great time. Um, I don't think that there has been another year like this. So um, definitely just happy to be a part of both of your teams. And one of the takeaways that I'll have from Crown graduating is honestly that sometimes life will throw you curveballs and um, it's all about how you choose to react and it's about if you're going to choose to follow God um, and what he has for your life. Um, it's not always going to be easy because people are always going to question what you have to do or what you have to say. But as long as you are doing what God has for you and what God has called you to do, then you'll be good that life is what you make out of it, especially here at Crown. What you put into it is what you get out of it. You can either stay in your room for all four years of college, or you can go out, make friends, do intramural sports, even if you're good or bad at it. <laughs> if you want something to change or to be heard of, you need to have the hard conversations with people on this campus, even if it means crying your eyes out in front of them during that conversation. Yeah, the van rides are definitely fun for both basketball and softball they were um some of the best times that i've had here as well to answer your question number one so um this year has been probably my favorite i would say out of all the years um some takeaways i have for crown are just what a blessing it's been in my life uh, helping me grow as a man and a man of god um providing great friends in my life and great people that i've met uh I'm really going to miss this place and hopefully I'll be back for a football game or basketball game in, in the future. You can always go get an education, you can always um, move to a new place or play a sport or XYZ, but I think the most important thing is just the relationships that you build with people and all the connections you make and you can take those with you throughout all of your life even after your years at Crown are done. And I would encourage you to Get involved as everything that you can and have fun and make friends. Go to all the things that Crown puts out. Whether that's talking to a person that you've never talked to or going to different events that you've never been to. Because um, once you walk across that stage and grab your diploma, you can always come back for homecoming or any other events, but you will never be the same group of people that you were when you were a student. So I really want to have you guys push for that.